So hello again. As you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy over here for Everyman IT. This class is wireless bridges for networking. Uh, so what we're going to talk about today is wireless bridges. So what these are good for is when you go out to build networks for yourself, for your clients, you are going to find that there are times when it's going to be impossible to run a network cable from, from, from one place to another. So, so let's say you are in a building and uh, for some reason you can't damage the walls or you can't drill into the walls or you can't use molding. So there's no way to run cable from, from a server room all the way to, let's say, a classroom environment on the other side of the building. Or let's say you're, you're on a small facility uh, where they have multiple buildings. Now, now most of the computers are sitting in, in one building, uh, but you may have individual workstations at these other buildings. Well, it may be infeasible to run cable to all these individual buildings, but you still need to get uh, the network over to them somehow. Well, why Wireless bridges uh, allows you to do this uh, relatively simply and, and relatively inexpensively. Basically, all you're doing is, is you're creating a bridge uh, between your main network and the smaller network you're creating using a wireless access points. So this class, uh, we're going to talk about how this works, and I'll. I'll briefly describe uh, how you set a wireless bridge up. Again, this is an invaluable thing. This is incredibly useful. I've used this a lot in the real world. Again, whether it's in, in, in buildings or whether it's, it's bridging multiple buildings, this is just an incredibly useful tool uh, for you to be able to do. Uh, so, so let me get a couple of things together and then we'll, we'll talk more about wireless bridges and how you set these up. Okay, now let's think uh, about a small facility where you have a couple of buildings. So let's say you have the main building here and you have lots and lots of workstations in this main building. Let's say you have 100 workstations in this main building. So here you know how to build you know, your normal network. Now let's say there's a little guard shack. I'll we'll just do a little, little guard shack, you know, for, for I don't, guarding the parking lot for this building. And inside this guard shack, you have two little security officers and they both need uh, computers. So they, they both have their little laptop computers so they can watch YouTube uh, while the boss is paying them because, you know, they're just sitting in a little guard shack. Now, now, this guard shack is far enough away from the main building. It's not very feasible just to run a network cable across that expanse because maybe you have semi trucks that come through here. So if you, if you run a cable over here, maybe they would, they would snag uh, that cable. Uh, you can't run at ground level because you know, you'd have to cut through all the asphalt and all the cement and uh, that, that's just not gonna, not gonna be any good. So what you can do to give these little security officers access uh, to the network inside the building is create a wireless bridge. Now, all you need to do to create a wireless bridge is on one side uh, of the network. So, so right here, let's say we have our little server room and we have our little router with all the, the, the cables going out, right? Now, on, off this, this, uh, this switch or router, all you do is you put a little, uh, wireless access point or wireless router uh, that will get, give access uh, for this network. So this wireless uh, access point or router will be here to transmit, you know, basically the network signal over to the guard shack. Now on the guard shack, you put a little wireless access point here and it will be able to receive and send the signal uh, you know, back and forth between the guard shack and between your, your main building. This is all pretty simple. Now off of this one wireless access point, uh, you, can, you can run a cable down to a switch, you know, however many port switch you want, and then you can run cables to each of the, these people's computers. So using this wireless bridge, as far as these guards are concerned, uh, they're, they're using the, the internal network. So if they go to the internal file server, they'll be able to get access to it, etc. Basically, they are now on the network. You have, you have bridged this distance uh, using wireless access points. It's, it's really, really pretty simple. Now, with the access point that is connected uh, to your, your main network, this can be either a router, a wireless router, or a wireless access point, okay? So it can be a wireless router or a wireless access point. Here, 
this wireless access point here has to be a wireless access point and only a wireless access point. That is very, 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 very important. So, like I say, if you go out, you can buy just the Linksys wireless access point and it will say only, uh, if you can see that, access point. This is not a wireless router, this is a wireless access point. So, so basically, uh, you know, the signals come through the air, come into the, 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 the wireless, and then they go out on a little network cable. You know, stay with me so far? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Now, the only special thing that you're going to need to do uh, when you're setting up the, this wireless bridge is so you're gonna have to, you know, for this one wireless router or access point here, you have to set up, you know, the, the SSID, you know, the security, you know, the normal stuff, just, just like you normally do when you're setting up a, a, a wireless network. Now, over here for this access point, there's a couple of things that you're going to have to remember uh, when you're setting this up. Now, when you go into the configuration for any wireless access point, it is going to ask you, do you want this to be an access point or part of a bridged network? B-R-I-D-G-E. You want it to be part of the bridge network. You don't want this to be an access point because an access point broadcasts out to multiple computers and receives information from multiple computers. A bridge access point only talks to one other wireless access point. Again, so it'll bridge, uh, bridge the network. Now, once you've set up the bridge, the next thing your wireless access point is going to ask you is what is the MAC address of the router, wireless router or wireless access point that you are trying to access. So you're going to have to go to this wireless device and find out what its MAC address is. So all, uh, all networking equipment should have a MAC address on the bottom. If you can see that here, uh, this one has a MAC address. So you may have to go to this router and either look at the bottom or go into the configuration screen and see the MAC address. So all you do on this wireless access point here is you put it into bridged mode and then you give it the MAC address of the, the wireless access point it's trying to connect to. Past that, it may ask you for the SSID and it may ask you for security. But basically, once you've done that, everything is essentially set up. So now, like I say, these little guards can talk to, to the people um, you know, over on this network and, and it's, it all works fine. Um, you can do this for, for multiple buildings. So let's say you have another building over here. I don't know, let's say it's a kindergarten. You know, people play with blocks and stuff. So, so maybe the, 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 the little the child care facility for this building is over here. Again, you can put up another little wireless access point. You put it into bridge mode, you give it the MAC address of the main uh, router or access point you're trying to connect to, and now that will connect. And so that's uh, basically what you do to create a bridge network. This works really, really, really well. Um, I've used this in classroom environments. I've used this for different kind of buildings. Um, like I say, it's, it's, it's all ju just, just, just good and easy to do. You don't have to run any cables. It just makes life a lot easier. And the main thing is, when you get the wireless access point that, that is gonna be connecting back to the main office, again, you have to put it into bridged mode and then you have to know the MAC address uh, for the, the access point it's trying to connect to. As long as you know that, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. So that's all there is uh, to creating wireless bridges. So, so basically you have the main either router or wireless access point. So the main one connected to the main network can be a wireless router. But the, the one that will be used as the other side of the bridge has to be only an access point. You can't use two wireless routers to connect to each other. Well, generally you can't. Maybe you, you can find one out there that, that, will, that will allow it to work, but, but generally, one can be a wireless router, but the other one has to be a wireless access point. Again, for that wireless access point, you put it into bridged mode and then give it the MAC address of what it's trying to connect to. And then, then you connect. Like I say, the, the, this works like a champ. Now with all things, you know, the quality of your networking equipment matters. So I have this crappy little $60 Linksys wireless access point because I use this for test environments and playing around. If this is a real business environment, 
uh, Cisco, real Cisco, not Cisco small business or whatever links this is now, real Cisco equipment is what I would suggest you go with. Because um, remember, if this, this little thing dies, then, then, then your wireless network dies too. The other thing is uh, what will make your wireless bridge work better is remember that these antennas can come off on these wireless access points and be replaced by powered antennas. So especially if you're creating a wireless bridge, I would highly suggest you go and you find a better antenna to plug into both your wireless access point and to the router for connecting the bridge. Especially if you're only uh, bridging two places, so if you have one main office here, and like I say, that one guard shack, and that's all you're doing with your wireless access point, you can use directional antennas. Uh, you can plug the directional antenna into the access point and a directional antenna into the router and then point those directional antennas at each other. Those directional antennas will work much better than these which are called omnidirectional antennas. Um, something you can do, like I say, I mean the network, as I will always argue for with you guys, the network is the core of all your, your communication systems. So if you, if you don't put money and time and energy into your network, well, you know, things just aren't going to work very well. So, you know, that, that, that's really all there is uh, to creating a wireless bridge. Again, incredibly useful. I've used it a lot. I've used it in my house. I've used it for clients, connecting buildings. It's, it's just uh, great and wonderful. The only last warning that I will give you is if you are planning to do a voice over IP or digital surveillance, any type of real-time communication, if you create this wireless bridge, you, you want to use 802.11n, as in November, devices. You don't want to be using B and you don't want to be using G wireless devices. The reason is, is only N was built to actually handle real-time communication. If you use 802.11g networking equipment and you're trying to do Skype or you're trying to do voice over IP, et cetera, you may have some real problems. It's just fundamental to, to how G wireless networking works. We'll talk about it more in an actual wireless networking class. But if you're going to be doing real-time communication, like I say, voice over IP, video over IP, et cetera, you want to use 802.11n networking equipment. That's really the, 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 the final final thing I would say. So as you know, uh, I'm Eli the Computer Guy over here for Everyman IT. Uh, this was Wireless Bridges and Networking. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next class.